In today's video, I'll be showing you how to download Hozo Mobile on any PC slash laptop. So let's not waste any time and get into today's video. So what you want to do for the first step, you want to go ahead and search BlueStacks and click the first link. Once you click the first link, you want to go ahead and click on see all versions. This way you'll be able to see all the versions. So go ahead and download your version. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows. So if you Mac, click on that. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and install BlueStacks 5. You want to go ahead and do that and it won't take long. Then you want to click on instant. Then you want to go ahead and log in freshly. So go ahead and choose a Android version. Click on Android 11. Then you want to click on next. Then make sure you put everything on high. Your resolution you want to go ahead and put on 1080p. In performance mode you want to put on high performance and click on create. Then what you want to do is you just want to wait. Once you're done with it, you want to go ahead and click on start. Then you want to head over to system apps and you want to click on play store. Once you click on play store, you just want to wait and you want to go ahead and sign in. Once you sign into your Google account, you want to go ahead and download Horzone. You want to go ahead and head over to the search bar and you want to type in Horzone Mobile. As you can see this Horzone, you want to go ahead and click on install. Then you want to head over to the settings as well. You want to go ahead and put your frame rate on 120. Your memory allocation, that depends on your PC. You want to go ahead and just choose whatever. If your CPU does not have 4 cores, use the 2 please. Then you want to go ahead and save changes, which you will need to restart your PC. Then once you come back, you want to head over to the display settings. And you can go ahead and just copy all my settings. Then you want to head over to the graphic settings and make sure you use OpenGL. And in the interface render, you can just click on auto and select your game. Once you're done with that, it's literally that easy to install Warzone 3 on your PC. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks just like this. Anyway, I'll find you in the next video. Peace.